In this video, I'm going to answer the question, is it better to sell at the money or out of the money put options? And is it better to sell 30, 60, 90, or 120 day put options? I think the results might actually surprise you. In my past several videos, one of the things I mentioned to you is that it might be a good idea to do some back testing. So I said, you know what? Let's do some back testing. Let's see what the returns were by selling out of the money options as compared to at the money options. Let's do it not only on the SP 500, but also some of my most profitable option stocks from the past year. So I'm going to share four stocks that I did back testing on. And the first one here is the S&P 500 or SPY, otherwise known as Spider. When I ran just a general back test of what the best parameters were when selling put options against SPY over the past couple of years, here's what it came up with. Let's dig into a few of these to see if we can get some insights on what are the best parameters to use for selling put options. In this first column, I've sorted the results from the highest return to the lowest return, and these are the best strategies that the backtesting software came up with. Notice here in blue that the best parameters it came up with were to sell the 0.2 delta put options that were 180 days to expiration. That total strategy return was 16.7%. And when you compare that to the 14.2% of the stock, you see that this strategy beat the overall market. And something else I like is that it beat it in drawdown as well. Notice here in blue that the strategy return only had a negative 5.7% drawdown. Compare that to the 19.2% drawdown of the underlying stock SPY. Then down here at the bottom, you see the two returns graphed out. What stands out to you here in these two graphs? The purple one is SPY or owning the stock outright. And the gold or yellowish color one is our strategy of selling the 0.2 Delta 180 day expiration options. Something that's blatantly obvious to me is just how consistent this return is. Although it does have some ups and downs, especially back here in 2022 when the market was rocky, this overall is just a nice, consistent, steady incline in this strategy's income and p &L. Compare that to the S&P 500, notice how choppy this has been. Notice that over the past five months, because the stock has done really well, it's actually saved it. So it's a relatively close comparison when you compare the strategy return to owning the stock outright. If it wasn't for that, the strategy return of selling the 0.2 Delta and 180 days to expiration put options would have beat owning the stock outright by quite a bit. And then notice the second best return. Again, we're at the 180 day expiration and notice it's at the 35 Delta. And if we go down to the third best return, notice that again, it's a longer dated option. It's the 180 days to expiration option. It's not until we get into the fourth and fifth place best returning strategy that we get into a shorter dated option. And both of those are 30 days. So just kind of remember that in the back of your mind as we go through these different trading scenarios. I then decided to trade different trading parameters to see what I could come up with on my own. Notice in this box here that Delta was at 0.15. And notice that our days to expiration here were 140. We told the software that we wanted to close it out five days before expiration or roll that option out. Just know that in this trading scenario, I backdated it all the way to 2019. So we experienced a very big bull run as well as a bearish year in 2022. So overall, we're looking at a nice snapshot of a realistic trading scenario. It's just a little over a five year snapshot of SPY. Now, one thing that first stands out to you is this purple line here, and that's on the stock. Obviously, because it's been a huge bull run during that time, you would have done better off just own the stock outright or owning some deep in the money call options. However, you never know when these bull markets are gonna start and how long they're gonna last. So let's just run the scenario. Let's see what kind of return we can get by selling put options. That might be something that gives us a safe return, but still a very nice return and offers us the opportunity to do very few trades throughout the year. So here we're selling the 15 Delta put option that expires in 140 days. We're rolling it five days to expiration. Notice that our total strategy return over this little over five year period was 32%. That only equates to an annualized return with a strategy of 5.4%. So not that exciting. That's especially the case when you compare it to the 15.1% annualized return that you would have realized by owning the stock outright. And then notice the strategy drawdown. It was 24% and compare that to the stock drawdown of 33%. So overall, we see that in a very strong bull market, you're just better off owning the stock outright. However, when we go to a market where it's been a combined bear and bull market, notice you actually do better by trading in this strategy with longer dated options and selling farther out of the money put options. So just keep that 180 days to expiration option in mind as we go through these next three underlying stocks. I then picked another stock that it had a very bullish run over the past five years. And that stock is Oracle ticker symbol ORCL. As you see here, I ran various scenarios when trading ORCL and cash and good put options against that underlying. But again, we see the purple line consistently beats 
the gold line because Oracle had a very strong bullish run. But I actually found a strategy that I really liked here. And again, notice the details of the strategy. So this time frame is just over five years. We're selling the 30 Delta put options and we're selling the 120 days to expiration option. We're rolling them at five days to expiration. And notice here that our overall total strategy return was 44%. Now, because the stock was so bullish, that did terrible compared to what the stock did because the stock actually returned 168%. So our annualized return for our strategy was 7.1%, whereas the annualized return of owning the stock was 20.5%. But the one area that our strategy does beat it is in the drawdown. Notice that our strategy drawdown was 20.8%, whereas the stock's drawdown was almost twice that at 39%. So again, we see that in a very strong bullish underlying, you're better off just owning the stock or owning some deep in the money call options. You may have a higher drawdown, but your overall return long-term will be better. If you play around with the numbers a little bit like I did here, you'll see this is one of the ones I like best, especially if you were trying to be very conservative or wanted to really protect your capital. Notice again, we're selling the 0.5 Delta put options. This is over the past five years. We're selling the 120 days to expiration. We're rolling them at five days. And notice that this total strategy return was 33.5%. Again, it got absolutely crushed by the stock's return of 168% because Oracle had a very strong bullish run. Notice that the strategy's drawdown was only 18.9%, whereas the stock, again, its drawdown was 39%. So if you're wanting a very safe but consistent return, with well, selling the 15 Delta put options that are 120 days to expiration might be worth considering. Now let's look at the overall potential returns on Oracle by selling put options. And we've sorted again by total strategy return this column here. First, notice that the total stock return was 48%. Now this is a shorter time frame. It's just over the past two years. But notice that the best returning put option was to again sell the 180 days to expiration put option. Now the delta was 0.5 and that's because Oracle has had a very strong bullish run. By selling this put option, you realize about half the return of what it would be if you own the stock outright. But it's still an overall really nice annualized return of 11.5% and that's unleveraged. Again, notice our drawdown. This strategy beats this stock drawdown. It was only a 15.9% strategy drawdown, whereas the stock, its drawdown was 23.5%. But going down our expiration list, notice their longer dated options, 180 days, another one at 180 days, then 60, another 180 and 60. So this back testing software is telling us that we're better off looking at longer dated options when we're looking to sell them. So we looked at two different scenarios. First with the S&P 500, where it came down and had a very strong recovery. And then with Oracle, where it's just been in a very overall strong bullish market. Now let's look at two more realistic scenarios. The next two are stocks that I've traded very successfully in over the past couple of years. Let's first look at GILD. We were in that same scenario. We asked the back testing software to tell us the best overall return for selling put options. And notice again, at the number one spot, it came in at the 180 days to expiration options. Now it gave us the 0.35 Delta options. Notice that the total strategy return was 19.1%. And this is over the past two years. Compare that to the stock's return, which still was decent at 15.8%, but we see that our strategy return beat it pretty substantially. Then looking at drawdown, our strategy return's drawdown was only 4.5%. Compare that to underlying stock, its drawdown was a lot higher, right around five times higher at 22%. Now in second place is the 60 days to expiration options. And it came in just slightly less than the number one spot, because it came in at 18.4%. And it told us to sell the 0.2 Delta options. Now again, this drawdown was a lot less at 4.3%. We have to go all the way down here to the bottom of the chart before we get to the 30 day expiration option. So notice again, these longer data options, they tend to not only give us a better return with less drawdown, but they also give us the opportunity to make less trades throughout the year. Down here at the bottom, you see the graph of the returns. So our strategy return just beat out the overall stock return. And notice again, how consistent the return was for our strategy as compared to the underlying stock. Now I played with this return just a little bit, putting in different parameters. And overall, I found a really high return at 54% strategy return over the past five years. Now that was selling the 0.3 Delta option at the 60 days to expiration. And notice this overall PL by selling this strategy. It's just a nice, consistent, upward sloping trend line here. Compare that to the stock's very jagged ups and downs, we can see where you would have done better off just selling these put options. And that's selling an option about once every two months and rolling it at five days to expiration. So again, you're not having to sell these very short dated options to get these nice consistent returns. So it's nice to see you don't have to do trades every 30 days. 60 days seems to be the starting spot where you begin to see nice consistent returns which means you're only doing about six trades a year. Now let's move on to the final stock that I back tested here. 
That's one that's been very profitable for me over the past couple of years. And here again, you see we ran the same report. We're looking for the most ideal days to expiration and deltas we should be selling our put options at. Notice that the top three are 180 days to expiration. Our deltas range from 0.2 to 0.5, with the farther out of the money deltas at 0.2 being the most profitable. The second most profitable is the next farthest out of the money, which is 0.35, and the least most profitable of the 180 days to expiration options is the 0.5 delta. So we're selling farther out in time or less trades a year. In this situation, only two trades a year and we're way far out in time. We're selling the 0.2 delta. But in spite of that, we absolutely crushed the underlying stock on return. Notice during this time frame of the past couple of years, this strategy has returned a 15.8% return, whereas the stock is down negative 20%. Our strategy drawdown was only negative 6%, whereas the stock experienced a 33% drop. And then notice our overall consistent return here by selling these put options. It's just a nice upward sloping trend line for our P&L. Compare that to the stock, and again, we see a lot more volatility. We see that it's actually sloping down because overall, realty income, ticker symbol O, has declined over the past couple of years. Then I play with the numbers for a little bit longer time frame. Now we're looking at the past five years or so. This actually includes the COVID crash, which I really liked. Notice that during this time, our total strategy return, not per year, the total return was 17.3%. So definitely nothing to be exciting about because it only equates to a 3.8% return. But a couple things that stood out to me here. This is selling put options that are 90 days expiration and selling the 0.3 delta options. So these options are farther out of the money. We're only having to do four trades a year because we're doing the 90 days to expiration option. We did roll these options at five days to expiration. Notice the big drawdown in COVID, but the stock actually had a lot bigger drawdown. In fact, if you look at the strategy drawdown here, it was only 22.8%, whereas the stock drawdown was 48%. So over twice the drawdown of our trading strategy. And then notice that coming out of the COVID drop, it's just been a nice, consistent, steady increase in price with a few exceptions back here in 2022. Then recovered very quickly, but it's just flat out beaten owning the stock outright. So keep in mind that you don't have to sell at the money options. Selling out of the money options, as you see here, can line you up for faster time decay. They also put you in a position where you have a bigger margin for error or a bigger buffer in case the underlying stock were to go against you. You can also go farther out in time, thus enabling you to make less trades per year. Because that time decays faster, you can always close those options out early and then enter a new trade with that same capital. For example, I like to close out the put options I've sold when I can realize around 75 to 85% of my overall potential profit. That greatly improves my returns because the options I've been selling are out of the money, it also decreases my risk. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. Knowing when is the best time to sell an option is vital to know if you want to be a successful long-term option trader. At the video with the link above, I share my favorite technical indicators I use every day to sell put options. This puts the odds of winning in my favor. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.